Hi everyone, so today I decided I want to share with you my growing actor PM collection. So in addition to collecting 2PM's albums and photo books and concert DVDs, um, I decided somewhat recently, so sometime this past year, um, I wanted to also collect um, OSTs from dramas um, they've either featured in or have sung, sung in, um, some of their um, movie DVDs and some making photo books for um, any acting um, project they were a part of. And um, so 2PM um, has a lot of members who are very active on the acting scene, um, mostly Taekyun, Juno, and Chan Sung. So this collection is mostly going to involve um, their projects. Though um, Jun K, um, there's a few OSTs that he has sung, sung in that I do have on um, my spreadsheet. So I've made a spreadsheet of all these things that I want to get at some point. So hopefully I'll fill in those gaps sometime next year. Um, Mu Young, um, he was in Dream High, so I do. He is represented in this video. And Nick Woon, um, is actually doing some more Thai acting roles and he wants to also pursue some more Korean acting roles. So hopefully that means that he'll get some more um, parts in the near future and that will probably be reflected um, in my future updates um, to include his projects. Um, for now, these are the things I have accumulated in this past year. And it's a very small fraction of what these guys have done. And they continue to do more things too, so um, this collection is only going to keep expanding, I imagine, over the years. But um, this being the first video, I wanted to share what I have currently, and then I'll update you guys um, in the future um, when this does eventually expand. So the first thing I wanted to share um, was all the Dream High merchandise I have. So right now I just have their making um, special photo book. In addition to um, the card set that you could buy. Um, but there is an OST available. Um, both a Korean digipack and I think there's even a Japanese version that comes with um, some other bonus things. Um, I So those are um, both on my wish list. I need to um, get on buying those because um, I definitely I think the Dream High OST um, very much influenced my appreciation and eventual kind of rabbit hole downfall when it comes to K-pop. Um, the songs are really good um, for the most part, um, especially June K's song, which was I think the first one that he worked on the production and writing. It was just a very monumental drama for me, personally. Um, nowadays, um, if you haven't seen it, um, it might seem pretty dated, which at the time when I watched it a few years ago, it, it was dated. But um, sometimes when you watch these older dramas, um, the cheesy factor, I think, makes it a bit more endearing, which was the impression I got um, from this drama. So. So if you haven't seen it yet, I would recommend watching it. Um, just understand that it is geared towards teen teenagers. And while it's very cute, um, there's some angst in it and some kind of ridiculousness in it that um, that's unavoidable, really, um, for the subject matter. But I think in all, it did a really good job of kind of fusing together what K-pop is um, in sort of this um, drama media. And for the photo cards, um, I have them, there are some in the tin that feature the other actors, but I've pulled out the ones that have both Woo Young and Taekyung in it. So this is how I have them displayed in my photo card binder. So I have that page, and then these horizontal cards. And Stream High was Will Young's only acting role. Um, and he actually, um, for those who haven't seen this, um, he played um, 
a character who spoke English mostly. <laughs> so he had, he worked really hard um, with his English pronunciation, I think, a lot with tech. <laughs> but um, his lines were pretty funny. Um, and uh, I guess I'll just flip through this really quickly. Um, there's a lot of uh, Korean text in here because there's a lot of like profiles of some of the actors um, and some interviews. But most of these are just scenes from the drama itself. And so it's, it was fun kind of just slipping through here, um, even though I couldn't really read the Hangul easily. And just seeing, um, kind of, I guess, reliving what this trauma was um, through these pictures. So, this is a fun um, photo book to own, especially if you enjoyed um, Dream High as much as I did. So, yeah. And then, in addition to that, you could get, I think, it came with a little mini notebook with some photos in it. So now I'm going to go through more of Taekyung's things because Woo Young, as I mentioned earlier, didn't hasn't pursued any more acting roles um, since Dream High. But Taekyung has been pretty active um, both in movies and um, other dramas. So um, right now I just have three of the OSTs from dramas that he was featured in. Um, the earliest being uh, Marriage Blue, which is a movie, um, and I do want to actually buy the DVD for this movie at some point because I haven't seen this. Um, but I do have this OST, which the first track here is the opening track, and it's a song that Taekyun actually worked on. Um, and just I'll flip through this really quickly. Um, so I don't, I can't really say much about this drama since I have not seen it. Um, but it is one of the larger, um, or it was one of the initial large roles that Taekyun was part of. So, um, just for the sake of collecting and kind of understanding his growth as an actor, um, this is probably one worth watching. And I do really love the OST that he performed during his Six Higher Days concert. Um, where he did a remix of it um, with a guitar. So, so the song itself is good, especially his solo version, which is not on here, by the way. This is just the regular edition they released um, in the movie. And then the next drama that I have in chronological order, I guess, of when these are released, is his um, Bring It On Ghost OST. So he released this um, two summers ago where he was the main um, protagonist, and I haven't listened to the OST since seeing the drama, which the drama is really cute, by the way. The age gap between the actors, Taekyun and um, the female lead, was a bit alarming when uh, the drama was first announced, but honestly, their on-screen um, chemistry, I thought, worked really well, and, and they both did a really good job. So it is a drama I do recommend watching. And this kind of packaging for this jewel case is really cute, as you see here. So just flipping through these. And from what I could recall, I enjoyed the music. I think there's a lot of instrumentals um, on this OST. But I'm mostly just buying these for collecting purposes of just owning some of um, 2PM's um, other achievements, um, other than, of course, their albums. So, that's mostly why I've taken to collecting these. And then this is Taekyun's most recent drama that he was in um, before enlisting, um, which is called Save Me. And this drama is great. I'm going to talk more about it during my end-of-the-year drama wrap-up. But this does come with a postcard set. You have um, his gang of friends, and Taekyun, and the lead, you know, lead. And this actor I'm really enjoying right now. He was in Mad Dog recently, and he 
did really great. And this is basically the bad guy from this drama. And if you're unfamiliar with this drama, it's, um, it does involve a very heavy topic, um, and that um, Taekyeon and his friends are trying to save um, this girl from a religious cult. But it was really intense and very enjoyable, although the subject matter was unsettling. That's what the packaging looked like. Okay, so there's one more thing of Taekyeon's I have, and that is um, this movie, which is called House of the Disappeared. So this is his more recent movie role, where he plays a priest. And honestly, I wouldn't buy this um, if you're just buying it for Taekyeon. He was honestly in it for maybe 20 minutes max. The, the movie itself, um, it's, well, it's described as a horror film, but really it's more of a, I would say it's probably more of a psychological thriller with some supernatural elements. And it was enjoyable. Um, there was a cool twist at the end, but um, going into it, I didn't realize that Taekyeon wasn't really in it. So I was disappointed because of that. But it does come with um, a photo set. So these are the other actors and then I had these in my binder. But we have this and then these two of Taekyeon. So while this movie was enjoyable, um, I will just warn you, don't um, come into the movie expecting to see a lot of Taekyeon because he wasn't really in it much. And then another thing to note is that this is a Region 3 DVD. Though it does have English subtitles, um, just be aware that you need the appropriate um, DVD player in order to watch it. So next, I'm going to briefly talk about Chan Sung. Um, I don't have a lot of movies he's been in, so he's been featured in quite a few movies, um, as well as some dramas. Um, but I feel like he hasn't hit the point where he's um, emerged into a male lead like Taekyun and now Junho have. So his things I haven't really started collecting yet. I've been collecting more of his musical things, which I could potentially make another video on for 2pm musical stuff um, once I accumulate more of those things. Um, but I just wanted to note that he was in the seventh civil servant drama. So this was some type of freebie, I think, associated with that drama. And I haven't watched it yet, but there is an OST that I do plan on buying. So I believe both Juno and Taekyun were in an OST in this. So that reason alone I would be buying an OST, but also because it has um, Chan Sung featured in that drama. And then these L holders are um, advertisements for um, his first Korean movie, I want to say. Um, which is called Red Carpet. And you can actually watch this on Netflix um, in the US. I don't know about other countries. But I will warn you, do not watch this with your parents. Um, so I don't think I've revealed my age here, but I will be probably 27 by the time this is uploaded for reference. Um, but I was watching this when I was visiting them um, and they came into the room and joined me. And I didn't realize how raunchy it was. Um, so there was a lot of secondhand embarrassment with them present. <laughs> and they asked me why I was watching this, and I told them it's because one of my favorite idols was in it. And so they were kind of making fun of me because the character um, Chan Sung was playing, um, it's one of those characters that you have to be kind of cheesy and play it. So he kind of played this um, very awkward, freshly out of school intern for this porn star producer. <laughs> So you can imagine kind of how he would play that. <laughs> like he did well for the role, but you can't really say much about his acting abilities based on that role. So <laughs> just a little warning there. Um, it was a fun movie. Um, it has um, some other kind of big names in it. Um, but again, don't watch this with your parents. <laughs> 
Okay, so on to Juno, who made his acting debut um, in in a movie called Cold Eyes. And I do not own most of his movies. I just have this one movie here. But I do have plans on buying all the movies he's been in, as well as any kind of drama merchandise I could get my hands on. Um, but the things I have now are some postcards and this L holder from um, the movie Memories of the Sword. So I do have um, that limited edition DVD in my eBay cart. So I will hopefully be getting that sometime soon. And I also have this postcard set, which I'm not sure if it's official, but it's of him in the movie for the most part. So have those. And then I have um, the regular version of um, the movie he was in 20, which also has two other very popular uh, male leads. And I really want to get the deluxe or limited edition of this, but um, because I guess um, the two other actors are really popular, this the limited version sold out really quickly. Um, but this movie is very enjoyable. Um, it's, again, kind of on the raunchier side, but I felt like it wasn't as raunchy as Chan Sung's movie, um, Red Carpet. Well, I guess there wasn't like a porn star element to it, so that's why um, I didn't feel as uncomfortable, I guess, watching this. Though, to be fair, I didn't watch this with my parents, so maybe I would feel differently if I had. <laughs> So this is a really enjoyable movie. I really enjoyed it. It was pretty funny, even though um, the three guys um, who were um, kind of transitioning into adults um, were immature, but that was sort of the, the plot of this movie, was them trying to um, navigate through life and transition into adults. And just like with Check In's movie, um, this is in reg uh, Region 3. So you need the appropriate DVD player in order to watch it, but it does have English subtitles and some special features on that second disc. Okay, so the last things I have to share with you guys is Juno's um, recent um, emergence in dramas. So he, this past year, um, with this drama in particular, Chief Kim, or it's also called The Good Manager, He's really emerged as sort of this um, idol actor who um, is well regarded for his acting ability, um, which has been really exciting as um, a Junho fan to see him getting so much praise in, in Korea. So I have his DVD making book for that um, for this show, uh, as well as the OST. So I'll flip through this OST quickly. Or I lose daylight and so this is a really fun drama if you haven't seen it yet um, it's kind of a dark office comedy in a way um, but just the humor in here is just so refreshing it's kind of like um, Dong Bong Su it's humor in that it's so ridiculous and over the top um, but they do deal with um, some real issues and some kind of dark um, things happening um, within the company and it was definitely one of my favorite dramas of 2017, which I will talk more about this in that drama wrap-up um, I mentioned earlier. And I just really loved Juno's romance um, with the other male lead. Um, they both just played it up really well and made the entire um, drama just a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed this drama, not just for Juno, but also the other um, characters and just the plot was a lot of fun to watch. And quickly, I'll show you what this making DVD photo book is. So we have the DVD discs here. So this just has a lot of behind the scenes stuff, which I have not watched at all. And it does come with postcards, which I had stored in my photo card binder under Junho's section. 
and that's what the back looks like. And to just quickly flip through this, so this is a nice bound book. But um, there's not a ton of Juno in it. It mostly features um, the male lead here. But there's some really good pictures of just scenes from the drama. So you see some Juno here. And what also was refreshing about this drama was that there wasn't romance. It wasn't romance focused at all, um, which I thought was appropriate. Um, I think some people were kind of missing that romantic element, even though they did kind of hint at it a little bit with Juno and the female lead, but it didn't really turn out to be um, romantic. It was more of a friendship, which I enjoyed. Oh, and this is the scene where um, they dance to TT, which is funny. Yeah. This is a really nice photo book, especially if you really enjoyed this drama. It's something I think worth getting. Since you have some really nice um, scenes from the drama, there, I think there were some little interview parts in the back. But yeah. That was it for all of the after 2 p.m. things I have currently. So I'll make an updated video um, sharing with you guys how this collection will continue growing. And um, Juno has is right now in a new drama um, called Just Between Lovers, or it's also called um, Rain or Shine, um, which is really good so far. Um, I'm just two episodes in since there's just been <laughs> two episodes released so far. Um, but it's a really great melodrama, um, and um, Junho's character already seems really interesting, um, along with the other characters, so I'm curious to see how it goes. Um, and hopefully there will be some, um, a lot of nice merchandise to pick up for that drama with some great Juno photos. Though I'm afraid it's going to be mostly him beaten up, because so far, in all his scenes, He's had a lot of scratches and just a beaten up face, which is sad to watch, but um, again, I'm just curious how that drama will go and how um, Chan Sung and Nick Kun um, will continue with their um, drama and movie plans. So I think Nick Kun has a Thai movie that he's going to be involved in soon, um, which I'm excited to watch. And then Chan Sung, I don't think, has revealed any um, acting roles yet, but I'm sure he'll have something cooked up within the next year to enjoy. So that was it for this. Um, thanks for watching. If there's any 2 p.m. acting roles that you guys really enjoyed, um, do tell me down below in the comments. Um, I know there's a lot of dramas, especially that I haven't seen watched yet, especially some earlier Chan Sung and um, Tech Yen ones, so I need to <laughs> sort through those and get to them eventually. Um, in this next year. So again, let me know down below um, what your favorites are and um, see you guys soon.